what's going on today? I am on the boat with my mom, my dad, my brother Fisher, and Victor, and we are going lobstering. Lobster season is only open for a little less than two weeks left, and then it closes for a while, then opens again back in July. So this might be our last chance to go lobstering until July. So hopefully we find some lobsters here. So wish us luck. I, I see four, but they're borderline legal. All right, so first spot that I dropped my dad in at, he said that he sees four, not sure if they're gonna be legal yet. So Fisher and him are gonna go down, try to catch one. Victor might not even be in the water by the time they catch one. <laughs> we'll see. Fisher's down there killing it. Number two for Fisher. That's a big boy. Well, bigger than the last one. He's definitely keeper. We'll measure him just in case, just to check it out. Keeper. Two there, but they look short. The one, the one about the one, the one you just caught. There's another one. Yeah. The There's another right there. The two in there look short. He's got one. Come a little closer. Well, I have another diver down. Oh, he's legal. Good job, Fisher. That's number three. He is not deeper. Oh. Number four for Fisher. You're not in the water to catch him. What are you boys doing over there? Any more? I don't know. He is small. Looks like someone already tried to catch him before. Yeah, his he's antenna's missing. missing. He's missing an antenna, but it's healed over. Maybe he, he's, he's a keeper, but not like he's on a giant, so maybe someone caught him and he wasn't a keeper and they broke off his antenna not long ago.
Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So it's actually a week after we had caught these lobsters. We only ended up catching three that were legal for us to bring home, but lobster is something that we find freezes very, very well. So when we catch it, we clean it, put it in a bag and throw it in the freezer. And you can even eat it a year later and it tastes like it did two days after it's been frozen. Freezes very well. We never leave it in the fridge. We catch it, put it right in the freezer if we're not gonna eat it immediately. So, I have my three lobsters here that I'm gonna start prepping, and tonight I'm going to make something completely different. Never tried this before, but I'm going to do a lobster wonton. So we'll see how that goes. I wanna show you guys something. You guys had just seen that we found a nurse shark while diving, and they typically always leave you alone while diving. They're pretty much harmless unless you mess with them. You find nurse sharks a lot of the times laying on the bottom or sometimes underneath rocks while you're lobster diving, and they actually eat lobsters and they wait until the lobsters molt. And I'm gonna show you when I was cleaning these that one of these molted while I was cleaning and I just pulled the hard shell out. And look, this is so soft. This is rock hard, this is soft. So what those nurse sharks will do is they'll sit under a rock and they'll wait for that lobster to molt till it gets nice and soft and squishy like this so that they can eat it I'm sure they can eat them too when they're hard, but why eat a hard lobster when you can wait for him to be nice and soft like this? For a nurse shark, anyways. But isn't that crazy? Nice and hard, really, really soft. So when when lobsters are have just molted, they're really soft and predators can eat them much easier than they can when they're nice and hard. So I'm going to take them out of their shells. I got a nice heavy duty sharp knife here and I'm gonna go like this down this side of them. Just like that. I did have these sitting in the sink in some water to defrost, so they're not really frozen anymore. Always after I make that first cut, I turn it around with the palm of my hand and just crack it nice and easy, and usually the shell will peel right off. Just like that. A lot of times when you cook lobster, it can be difficult to get them out of the shell, but whenever they're, um, before they're cooked, they're very easy to get out of the shell. Do the same thing again. Turn them around. which is actually really easy to do. It looks like you need some muscle, you just need some good leverage. Peel the shell right off. Okay, now this one's gonna be interesting because it doesn't have a hard shell. Here's a piece of the, oh there, like, look, look, look. There's that part of the shell that never peeled off. So this is the hard part of the shell. Like I had said when I was cleaning and I pulled off the top part, the hard part. Look, here we go. There's the whole tail. Now it's so soft, look at that. So that's his old shell he's shedding, right? Right, old shell that he's shedding, yep. That's how they grow. They molt and then they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Once they get bigger, they take off their old shell, grow into a new shell. So this one will be interesting. I'm gonna basically have to kind of fillet it out of its skin. So, made a cut down the center. Now I'm gonna take another knife and I'm basically gonna kind of just fillet it like I would, like, uh, like I'm skinning a fish. Because you don't want to eat this. There's that. 
Skin. It's like skin now, but it's really a shell. Now, a lot of times, I'll skin lobster to take off the outside skin, but depending on what stage they are and they're molting, sometimes this outside skin will be really rubbery, but I'm do what I just did. We'll take off a little bit of it. So, this is basically that outside skin like I showed you before on that last one, but it's just not as um, far along. So now we have some beautiful lobster here. And what I'm going to do is cut it into small pieces. So I'm gonna do pieces like this big. It's really slimy. Now I'm going to season this a little bit just with salt, pepper, and my favorite blackening seasoning. You guys have seen me use this all the time. Chef Paul's Magic Seasonings Blackened Magic, Blackened Redfish Magic Seasoning. So, just some salt, pepper, and then the blackening seasoning. Okay, so I have a pan on medium high heat and I'm gonna put some avocado oil in it. So now I have half of an onion that I'm going to put into here. And I'm just gonna let those cook down. Okay, so Get a little bit quieter in here. I have two tablespoons of butter going in the pan. Now I have five cloves of garlic that I'm putting in. Lobster cooks very fast, especially in these small pieces. It's not going to take very long to cook. idea was we had these wonton wraps in the refrigerator and they're quite small and I was thinking like oh three lobsters isn't gonna go very far but let me show you what I'm doing I've already made 12 and I feel like I've barely touched this pile of lobster but I'm taking just a little tiny bit a little tiny dollop you want to put more but they're just so small you can't really fit a lot so I'm folding it in half and I'm taking a fork and I'm pressing down the edges. Now, it's like, they're not staying <laughs> Why is it closed all, very well. All your other ones stayed, but as soon as you get the camera out. I think that they're not um, really cold anymore. Um, like the wraps maybe, and that's why we're having a little bit of difficulty having them stay closed, which is gonna 
when I go to fry them, because I'm gonna fry these, if they're open and letting stuff out, it's not gonna be good. Basically, that's what I'm doing. I've already done 12. That one's working good. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that last one. So I'm folding them over and just using the fork to close them down. There we go. Like a little pocket. It's a lobster in a blanket. A little lobster blanket. Okay, so I just finished the last couple. I ran out of wonton wraps. So it is my cameraman's lucky day. Oh, yes. And he can see the rest. Bite for you guys, bite for me. I'll tell you what, this alone without the wontons, so good. One of the best ways you've made lobster brook. Now I forgot to mention that I was bringing these to my parents' house to cook them up so everyone can share them. I've tried one so far to see how long it would take and I left it in for one minute on one side, flipped it over and left it in for one more minute. So I'm going to do a couple at a time because they're not going to take very long to cook. So I got some nice hot oil here. turned out really good. I was really worried about them falling apart when I went to fry them, which didn't end up happening, and I only fried them for a minute total tops, like 30 to 45 seconds. It did not take long for those crispy wontons to get nice and brown. And I wanted to put cream cheese in the lobster, like mix after the lobster cooked, add, add cream cheese, but I didn't have any in the fridge, so if you guys want to try it with cream cheese, I bet that would be really, really good. Once it gets hot and you bite into the cream cheese, mm, it would probably be very delicious. So if I do it again, that's what I'm gonna do. Highly recommend the recipe though. I give it an A+. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.